Hello everyone, this is Fantastic Worlds, welcome you back to Alan Wake, our journey through Lovecraft Country. Now, as we stopped before, we found another one of these magic manuscript pages. Let's see what it says. The air in the visitor center That's was heavy not with good. an awful smell, as if some rotten drowned thing had crawled up from its grave. Rusty kept coughing blood. My eyes were drawn to the twisted shape of his broken leg. The attack had been vicious. Max whined in his cage. Rusty's eyes were wild with fear and terror. He gasped. Mr. Wake, it happened just the way it was on that page. Yeah, that's, again, makes you wonder about the truth of these things. Where exactly are they coming from? Now that we need to have a rock fall on us. Uh, demonic flashbacks are bad too. This was no head injury. Maybe we should go see what that is, shall we? Be there shortly. Just gonna try to see if there's anything in here. Just a coffee thermos? No ammo? God damn it. Right, right, I'll advance the plot shortly, okay? what else we've got here. I just, you know, video game logic. Nope, nothing here. Oh, getting the jump down at least. Yeah, this place is messed up. Oh, there it is. Hold on, sorry about that. Had a bit of a tech issue. Yep, got that. Oop, there it is. I knew there had to be something else around here. The visitor center was sturdy, but the impact turned the front of the building into splinters. Rusty was thrown across the lobby like a rag doll and hit the far wall hard. It didn't hurt until he tried to move and saw his leg bend the wrong way, felt the broken ribs stabbing him on the inside. Rusty howled in pain and fear, suddenly afraid to die alone. Well, maybe we'll be there with you. Go. Yeah, Hello? this place is a bit messed up. I'm back here. Hey, please help me. I'm coming. Mr. Wake? He doesn't like the light, bad sign. <laughs> oh, hell. It happened just the way it was on that page. I found Game True. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must. The lights. In the office. I, I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. Oh boy. This place. I need a little work. 
The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. Hang on. Just making sure. Anything here? Apparently not. the feel of this especially not that either anything over here in here ooh there we go I think I'll take anything I can get at this point that's not good Nice that these hinges are all two-way. Not a trap at all. At the last instant, I changed direction and threw myself down. The axe splintered the trunk of a tree. I stumbled into the pool of bright light. My lungs burned. I was too exhausted to move. I tensed as I waited for the killing blow, but it never came. I raised my head. Nothing moved in the darkness beyond. For the moment, bathed in the cold light, I was safe. That's a bit of a hint, too. You can get yourself to one of the safe haven lights. Taken will just vanish. Which, you know. Dun dun dun. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. Oh, that's not good. It's coming. Oh. Now they're a new enemy. Now these things act like little landmines of darkness. You leave them in place and touch them. They'll do you damage. So, it's usually best to clear them out if you've got the opportunity, because I'll probably be coming back this way. Yeah, doesn't look so good inside there. Pretty sure Rusty's gone. Alright, for now. Oh, I pressed dodge, damn it. Got him. Where are you? Where are you? Did I get you by accident? Ugh, you better. Trust me, if there wasn't a little checkpoint system, I'd be doing this a bit faster. Something had torn a mammoth-sized hole in the wall. Please! Don't feed the animals! Ah, <sighs> here we go again. Fishing is only for those persons who purchase a park. Fishing. License, no bank! Come on, Rusty. At all times. Rusty, Rusty, no! Never... Use cover, come on. Are you Barry Allen on speed here? It's amazing that you must be, be married to the job to be able to still screaming about it while you're undead. Where are you? Where are you, little bastard? Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh. 
10 rounds? Wow. Well, at least they're getting back into the practice. There you guys are. Alright, let's get moving. There you are. Get you both in the same beam. There we go. There's a dodge. Flashlight reload. All right, come on, come on, come on. Oh boy. I am not doing so well in several ways. At least I got regenerating health. Yeah, I think I know which way is progress. Kind of wish you could, you know, they had a uh, experience system you could use to boost anima or something like that. Halloween gets tired so quickly. Ah, the safe haven light. Now where to? Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Bit of a oh, shortcut there. Careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. Especially not psychotic rangers with an axe. Let's go. In that last instant of consciousness, Rusty thought about Rose. He was older than she was. Rose was barely out of her teens, but she made him feel young and forget what a train wreck his long dead marriage had been. He still wore the ring. He'd been waiting for her to tell him to take it off. Now she never would. It's like I said. You should enjoy what you have, Rose. Short lived. <sighs> Let's go. Let's see this one's stocked with. Oh, fully loaded in ammo. Stupid he can't cash these things for pickup later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go tell your master that I'm coming. Ooh, it's a lovely water effect. Yeah, that's progress, which means the far end of the nature trail. Uh-huh. There we go. Moonshine Cavern. Do a little sightseeing before the uh, inevitable combat. Assuming, of course, there aren't any taken in here. It'd be perfect for them. No light whatsoever. Ain't nothing here. I was checking. Ooh. Moonshine Cave. This cave was a site of frequent and lucrative bootlegger activity through the Prohibition. It was mostly used for temporary storage of alcohol smuggled from Canada, but at times alcohol was also distilled on the premises. And there we go. Holy cow. Yes, thank you. Batteries, huh? Uh, but I'll take the shotgun. Not at the moment, though. I have to save those for special occasions. Close encounters, as Hicks would say. There's that breathing again. Alright, rendezvous it is.
Yeah. That's all that's left of somebody. Where are you? There you are. Let's use cover. Oh, what the hell? Firing... Th God damn it, people. Enough of the crazy fandom. Back off. I don't care how much you like my manuscripts. close. Whew. A little better than you last time, though. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we can call for help. At least we know we're going the right way. Still don't like the look of it. 30 rounds, two shotgun shells, and 15 batteries. Where are you, bastards? Need to get up there, but how do you get up there? Here we go. I feel the need to be around some nice light sources. What do you think? No, ah, there we go. Eight rounds. Or shells. Thirty rounds. Missing too much here. Ooh, the great old one for your Lovecraftian reference. That's a big one. There we go. More. At least I got enough batteries. Bay. Ooh, son of a bitch. Oh, slow mo, dramatic. I need that shotgun sooner than I feared. So, yeah, Lovecraft, your reference for those who get it. Anything in here? Nope, but there's a sign. Fell by lightning in 19. 37, this exceptionally tall Rocky Mountain Douglas fir, I'm not pronouncing that, was over two, is over 200 years old. According to local legends, stretched beyond the stars after it fell is measured to be 66 meters tall, nearly a record length. There actually is a tree like this in one of the state parks in Oregon, but I can't remember which one. Okay. So, shall we continue? Kind of glad that the darkness let us have the time there. Can't say it isn't sporting. I'm getting the hell out of here before it decides that it wants to throw another encounter at me. Ah, oh, not too late. God, they phase right through solid objects. That's just not fair. Yeah, 
easy. Ah, nice use of cover there, boy. But I, it's hard for me to actually miss at that range. Ooh, we are burning through ammo a little too fast here. I'm not even missing that much. Oh, for crying out loud. Let it only be one. No, there's never just one. Two rounds. One round. Okay. This is bad. Manuscript there, okay. You know what? I'm feeling the need. Oops, sorry. Wrong button. For some light. Oh, and checkpoint, too. What you got for me? Say it's right. Say it's ammo. Excellent. Still only two full sections of rounds. Anything over here? A little bit of overkill there. It's not like the cops around here come if there's a problem. Ooh, nice view up there, too. You can see everything, even the visitor center. I do like the attention to detail they have in this game. Here we go. I turned the corner, afraid of what the flashlight's beam might reveal. Suddenly, a roughly painted symbol of a torch glowed in the light. Behind it, hidden by a rock, sat a battered metal trunk. It was here for a reason. Packed with supplies, batteries, flares, ammo. Things you need to make it through the darkness of the night. Something left behind by someone who knew what I knew. And more. Yeah, who is this mysterious person who's been leaving ammunition around for us? Somebody else who knows about the darkness? And if they do, why are they leaving it to us to fight it? I suppose it's wise. Bear alert. <laughs> yeah, I wonder... Yeah, it would be a great fight. Grizzly versus Taken versus us. <clears throat> oh, I see you. Trying to be sneaky. There's three of you now. Or four. Oh, baby. Back the fuck up. Uh, gonna be checkpointing here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Attempt number six. Oh, it does work. Oh, double timed. Oh, shit. Oh, good, good, good. Come on. One left, one left, one left. Come on. Oh, gods. Temp number six was the charm, apparently. 
Oh, boy. Reload everything. Oh, God, it's not that we have anything left. Uh, there better be a resupply soon. Or I'm in serious trouble. Hmm. Anything in this direction? Oh. Well, isn't exactly what I'm looking for. But yes, also something else that's in Oregon, too. Don't remember exactly where. Yes, yeah, started growing in 1846, the year the Oregon Treaty was signed. Other notable events, Washington Territories was founded, founding of the Bright Falls Mounting Company. Washington was a granted statehood, tree is damaged in a forest fire. The mining Company closes its doors after volcanic eruption below Clancy Lake. And that's the one that was referred to by Sheriff Breaker as being the thing that destroyed the cabin that we were sitting in. You know, the cabin that doesn't exist. Mount St. Helens erupts and tree felled by storm. It's been bad luck, apparently, for Oregon. Please tell me there's something else here. Oi, that's it. Just coffee. You know, I have exactly the same amount of rounds as I did when I started this. It's been like a uh, some zero competition here. Let's go. Hmm. Another point of no return. Yeah, monorail, it doesn't sound ominous whatsoever. Ooh, I like maps. The center cabin gazebo, moonshine cave, nature trail, lover's peak. Well, I wish I had a kind of you are here kind of thing going here. Oh, are you serious? I don't see this going wrong at all. Okay, so when do we inevitably get stuck in the center and attacked by multiple things? Hmm. Yep, there we go. Alan, you've been better off use better off jumping. Oi! Cutscene! Uh these guys. Get some matches! Booyay! Well, Mr. Ferryman. That flashlight's kid stuff. The flares will keep the bastards away. How do you know about these things? That's right. How do you pop the flares again? You can right see them too. Button. Well, of course I see them. Come on, we gotta move. Why? <laughs> because that's the way the story goes. Yeah, but let's move. I lost my gun back there. Oh, I've got a gun. Just keep that mm. light steady on him. Ah, here moment, we go. But then I recognized him. He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived here with Alice. He knew my name. We were headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no way this was a coincidence. He was the kidnapper. And that's on, right. Wake, you better keep up. You set him up, and I'll knock him down, Wake. Hmm, let me check. Might be stuff around here. Totally good idea to start. <laughs> okay, he actually comes back looking for us. Kind of interesting. Flares are actually quite good. They'll get anybody off of you. I could have used them right back, them, right back at that... Cluster fuck. Ooh. Oh, hi. Yeah. I don't have a gun, so I gotta wait for this guy to do it for me. And he sucks. Oh, for crying out loud, do I have to act as bait to get him close enough for you to actually hit him? Thank you. Yeah, I don't feel terribly safe. 
anything up here? Oh. I'm not using up flares to protect you, dude. Hell, I don't even feel like using a batteries up. Uh, oh, these things... I can't take it? God damn it. Things just aren't fair. <laughs> Little warning there. There we go. That's how the flares work. Yeah, I don't feel... See... I'll let you two shoot it out. I really don't want to be involved in this. Now, who is Lover crazy speak. enough? Spread up these stairs, Wake. Use the flares from the emergency box to hold them off while I get these boards off. Give me the gun. Yeah, <laughs> no can do, Wake. Are you kidding? Give me the gun. No time for back talk. Hold them off, damn it. Not my favorite mission. I want a gun. gun. Yeah, no can do, Wake. Are you right, kidding? Eight. Give me the gun. No time for back talk. Hold him off, damn it. <sighs> this sucks. Wait, what the? What the hell happened to the camera there? Just a little longer. Scare him off. You could shoot them, you know. Just saying. Just a little longer. I almost got it. That's it. Back up, people. It's open. Move it move it. Yeah, we're going. Open the damn door! Thank you. Shut up. Mm. Better get ready. They'll be on us soon. Yeah, I know, no, just looking for more stuff. Well, before the inevitable mass um, conflagration over here, I am going to cut this episode here and in anticipation, as I said before, of whatever the next dramatic scene shall be. So this is Fantastic Worlds, signing off with Alan Wake.